If, if you got a pile of crap and you chop it up 34 times, it's still a pile of crap. It's duplicious charging. They're trying to smear the guy. They're trying to take cases that nobody else would take and resurrect them. This is literally legal voodoo. This is political persecution. My wildest dreams, I never believed we would pass a bill that would give you a pay raise if you got unemployed. I want people to get their income while they're unemployed, but I don't want to increase their wages because you incentivize people to leave their job. In this bill, uh, you'll have 50 to 150% pay raises for people if they leave the workforce. Good luck with Amazon hiring 100,000 people because the unemployment benefits in South Carolina equal $23 an hour. How are you going to hire people in South Carolina when you're competing with government wages at $23 an hour? There's a lot of good in this bill. I'm going to vote for it. There are medical supplies that nurses and doctors and hospitals need. Mnuchin's done a good job very much trying to keep the Democrats from putting their Green New Deal into the bill. But here's what we've done. In the name of doing good, we're going to make it hard for the next four months for employers to find workers, and we're going to incentivize people to leave the workforce because the first time in my lifetime, America will pay you more not to work than work. This is a problem not only with Republican lawmakers, but just our way of thinking in America overall. I see Democrats thinking this way as well, which is to say, well, if we offer too much help to these people, who these workers who were making minimum wage, well, then maybe that will dissuade them from going out and finding another minimum wage job. But really, these wages need to be increased. If these companies are paying employees so little that unemployment insurance makes more sense economically, then there's a problem with what these employers are paying. To the conservatives out there, make sure you vote. If you got friends, make sure they vote. If you don't have any friends, go make some friends. But you need to help this man, Donald J. Trump. They're trying to drain him dry. He spent more money on lawyers than most people spend on campaigns. They're trying to bleed him dry. Donald J. Trump.com. Go tonight. Give the president some money to fight this bull. This is going to destroy America. We're going to fight back at the ballot box. We're not going to give in. How does this end, Sean? Trump wins in court and he wins the election. That's how this wins. Ends. DonaldJTrump.com. Give the man some money so he can fight. Lindsey Graham is obviously going through a lot. You can, you can hear it in his voice. You can see it in his glistening eyes. He's very much affected by the legal troubles that his great longtime friend Donald Trump is experiencing. I feel bad sometimes for conservatives. They're being told to spend their last dollar to give it to a literal billionaire so that he can defend himself for the crimes that he committed. And and they're also insulted along the way as being friendless. Man, these these right-wingers really don't respect the audience.